Now that your PAT 4.0 system is set up properly, I'll show you the basic operation. Prior to operating the system, the operation manual suggests setting the air pressure between 65 and 85 PSI with no more than a 10 PSI drop. However, we recommend setting the regulator at 80 PSI in the event of a slightly bigger air pressure drop. It is also important to have a minimum 3 8 inch diameter airline along with a regulator that meets the requirements in the technical specification section of the operation manual. Now we're going to power up the unit by pressing the toggle switch in the back of the dispenser. Prior to loading the reel of cable ties, press the tie type icon on the front of the dispenser. The convey here is set at 50, which is what is recommended for a 1M cable tie, and we'll be using PLT-1M-XMR cable ties for the rest of this video. We also provide PLT-1.5M-XMR cable ties, and the convey should be set between 37 and 42 if you're using those. Then, just press the back button to get out of that screen. If you need to adjust your convey, press the tie type button, and as you can see, it's set at 45 here, and the recommended setting for a 1M is 47 to 52, so it's below what it should be. So if we need to make an adjustment, we're going to take and press the back button so we're ready to uh, just check it again. Set the tool on the side, remove the scrap bin from the side, loosen the thumb screws on the side, and then, like I say, when you remove the cover, it'll actually start beeping and tell you the cover's open, press the silence button, and then what I'm going to do is press the back button again. And in order to make an adjustment on the convey, there's a regulator right inside here. You pull the cap up and you adjust it clockwise to increase the airspeed. So again, well, I just adjusted it up. Press that so I'm at 49. If I want to adjust it again, I, I went back, press it again. Now I'm at 50, which is right between 47 and 52. So what I'm going to do is press the back button, make sure my cap is locked down, and then take my cover and put it back on and tighten the thumb screws on the side here and also put my scrap bin back on and also just so you know the convey is basically the speed of the cable tie the higher the number the faster it shoots the tie. When loading a reel of cable ties it's important to open the bag properly by using the tear strip. So I'm just going to pull this open here Now, I'm going to open the zip lock here. Then I'm going to remove the reel of cable ties from the bag. And we want to store this bag for future use. Now I'm going to remove, there's a piece of cardboard on the outside of the reel of cable ties. I'm going to remove that. Now prior to loading the reel, I'm going to take and remove the reel holder. Then take my reel of cable ties, and you always want to make sure that the label is facing out towards you. Slide the reel on the spindle. Okay, then what you want to do is grab your reel holder and slide it on like so. There's a spring in the back so I'm going to put a little spring tension on here and tighten my wing nut. Okay. Now we're ready to load and just to let you know there is a piece of tape that holds the cable ties. So I'm going to remove that piece of tape and then take my cable ties and slide them in to the dispenser until the, until the ties stop. Once the tie stops, tap the load button one time. Once it successfully takes in one tie, you can let go of the ties here. And there is a ribbon on the top that starts at load 14, this green ribbon. So when I tap the load button, it's actually counting down from 14 down to zero. Once it successfully takes in 14 ties, it says ready on that ribbon on the top. Now you're ready to go. Now you're ready to use the tool. All you need to do is press the rear jaw handle trigger closed 
and hold it until it completes a cycle. In order to unload the reel of cable ties and store them when you're done using, press the maintenance buttons, then press the settings button, and then there's an unload button. So you want to press that button once, twice, three. Once you get four, once you've hit the unload button four times, you can pull the strip out. There are still ties in the uh, in the unit, so you want to press and hold the unload button. Just keep hitting the unload button until it drops all the ties out of the unit. Okay. You just want to make sure all the ties are out of the unit. Now, what you want to do is just loosen the wing nut on the reel holder. Take that off. Remove your reel of cable ties. What you can do is grab a side cutters here and cut the excess piece of carrier strip off. And then what you can do is, if you retained your tape, you can set that on there like so, so keep the ties real nice. And then what we can do is open up our bag. And both the reel says this side up. And also the bag says the same, but you want to put the ties in there like that. Open the bag, slide the reel in. Like so. And then you can seal the bag with the zip with the zip uh, lock to retain the tie moisture. After unloading the reel of cable ties, lift the dispenser unit up and clear the cable ties out underneath to prevent the cable ties from building up, which could cause a potential jam. That was the basic operation of the PAT 4.0 system.